Topping the news tonight, Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, has reaffirmed that the Bahamas will not be joining on to the Caribbean single market and economy. He made the statement today as the first day of talks wrapped up at the CARICOM meeting in St. Kitts. Our Altavis Munnings is there and reports that the Prime Minister made this affirmation as he headed on to the second leg of his trip. As soon as the Prime Minister arrived in the Royal Ballroom of the Marriott St. Kitts Resort and Casino, he canvassed the room to speak with his colleagues from Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Jamaica, Suriname, and the CARICOM organization. The official ceremony featured addresses from outgoing CARICOM Chairman and Prime Minister of Jamaica, the Most Honorable Andrew Holness, and incoming CARICOM Chairman and Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, the Honorable Dr. Timothy Harris. Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Hubert Minnis, who was accompanied at the head table with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Honorable Darren Henfield, reviewed their notes before the official discussions began. The main topic was the Caribbean Single Market and Economy, CSME, that allows the free movement of labor throughout the region. It's an initiative Prime Minister Minnis maintains the Bahamas does not support. They've expanded the free movement of people in that barbers can move freely, um, beauticians can move freely, agricultural um, farmers can move freely. You can imagine what that would do to, to our society if we were to agree to that. But what is most um, um, in, enlightening. How families affect the CSME was also addressed by regional leaders Tuesday morning. When you're thinking of one individual movement moving in terms of free movement of people, you could be looking at six, seven. Then that's additional strain on your educational system, additional strain on your social service, your healthcare system. So you can see why the Bahamas does not agree with free movement of people. We cannot afford it. Prime Minister Minnis did indicate, though, that the Bahamas can become involved in a temporary regional exchange program for an industry that would require it. Also Tuesday, Prime Minister Minnis participated in a bilateral meeting with the President of Estonia. Both countries share mutual interest in technological development. Estonia, which is located in Northern Europe with a population of over 1 million, was the first country to offer internet voting in national elections and has also offered e-residency since 2014. Prime Minister Minnis will only be attending the first day of this two-day intercessional meeting here in St. Kitts and Nevis. He's expected to leave Basseterre tomorrow morning to attend an event in New York City. Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Honorable Darren Henfield, and the Bahamas Ambassador to CARICOM, His Excellency Ruben Ramming, will represent the Bahamas and the Prime Minister during the remainder of the conference. Reporting from the 30th Intercessional CARICOM Heads of Government Meeting in Basseterre St. Kitts with my colleague Philip Marsh, I'm Altaviz Munnings, ZNS Network News.